Red Mallet, go for launch. Red Mallet, go for launch. The quest for Mars, an odyssey like no other. Six lives depend on the most advanced engineering ever imagined. KC safety mission assurance. KC SMA is go. Two and a half years and hundreds of millions of kilometers across the last and most hostile frontier. There's no forgiveness in space. You get it wrong, you kill people, Brave explorers, and sometimes they don't give you a second chance. Standing by for a retraction of the crew access arm. Main engine is now in start position. T minus 10 seconds, go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Three, two, one, and lift off, lift off. Mankind's first journey to Mars is on the way. Vehicle has cleared the tower. It may sound like science fiction, but it's not fantasy. A multi-nation expedition is going to Mars. It could happen in our lifetime. We are practically ready to start the production of the ships for the Martian expedition. Mars is at least 1,500 times farther than the moon. It will take more than two years to make the round trip. A perilous voyage into deep space, past a threshold we have never crossed. The point of no return. Mars One, you are go for the trans-Mars injection. Roger, we are go for the TMI burn. We're talking about a dangerous undertaking that really is going to require a lot of skill and a lot of effort to get back safely. Their reliance on their hardware will go to a, an order of magnitude beyond anything that's been done previously. But to make the voyage, we'll need to design a whole new fleet of spacecraft, starting with bigger, more powerful launcher vehicles. They must lift hundreds of tons of equipment and accelerate to 11 kilometers a second just to escape the pull of Earth's gravity. Then, the ship that takes us to Mars will be assembled in space. But even with new powerful rockets and new spaceships to cover millions of kilometers, new methods of propulsion will have to be used. When its engines are fired, a crew of six will be hurtled into the black of deep space. Everyone ready? Conquest of Mars is the ultimate engineering challenge. To get there now, will we resurrect radical technology from the past? Or will scientists have to push the laws of physics to their breaking point? It's a very, very daunting engineering challenge, but that's what makes it exciting. Opportunity, those heroic little rovers almost managed to make Mars look like an easy reach. Nothing could be further from the truth. Between them, the US and Russia have sent 38 probes and satellites to the Red Planet. 22 of those failed. Now, putting humans in the mix adds both complexity and danger. Yeah, Mars is really a bit of a cursed target. And as a consequence, you begin to worry about what is the real chances of success first time round. It would be like asking an ant to build a skyscraper. And ants are very good at building. These people are going to be spending an awful lot of time out there without any hope of resupply, without any hope of rescue. Rocket ships of all sizes and shapes have been designed, but most of them rely on... An In the 1950s, Werner von Braun and colleague Ernst Stullinger designed several manned missions for Mars. Von Braun would go on to help America get to the moon, but he always saw Mars as the ultimate prize. Our spaceship moves ponderously toward the firing site. Three, two, one. In 
1957, this is how the Von Braun team thought we'd get to Mars. Hundreds of tons of parts and equipment would be transported into orbit above Earth. There, in the weightlessness of space, a flotilla of ships would be put together. It would take dozens of Earth launches to put all the components into orbit. A crew of 120 would pilot the six finished spacecraft to Mars. The basic architecture of what he was suggesting 50 years ago is exactly what NASA is thinking about today in going to Mars. Mars One, all solutions look good to us. But the big ideas of the Von Braun era have been scaled down. Roger, that's what we expect. Scientists now think it can be done with fewer than 10 launches, with half the number of spaceships, and a crew of no more than six. We've broken things in space. We've lost brave women and men. So we don't want to go that way. We don't want to go at the hairy edge of survival. But Von Braun was right about some things. As we predicted, the spacecraft that's going to Mars will be assembled in Earth's orbit from parts delivered by huge cargo launchers. The crew arrives only at the end of a short hop flight from Earth. They'll dock with the Mars transfer vehicle and then start the six-month journey. Once they're in Mars orbit, the crew transfers to a lander, which takes them to the surface, while their spacecraft stays in orbit above. When it's time to leave, the capsule blasts off to dock with the waiting mothership. Six months later, back in Earth's orbit, the crew will transfer to a vehicle for the short trip home. Whichever way you want to put it, going to Mars is going to require a lot of equipment working almost perfectly for anything up to three years. It will be a challenge. Every journey begins with a first step. For Mars, it will be the blast furnace of flames lifting a heavy launch vehicle off the ground. But it will take much more than rocket power to get us there. Even at its closest, Mars is still 56 million kilometers away. What will take us there and back? At universities and space agencies around the world, big thinkers are wrestling with the question. There are dozens of competing theories and opinions about how to get to the red planet and back alive. But sometimes the best answers come from the most surprising sources. It's a very, very daunting technical and engineering challenge, but that's what makes it exciting. Canadian filmmaker James Cameron is on NASA's advisory council. Cameron's underwater explorations are legendary. And now, his fascination with Mars has inspired a radical design for a manned mission. Cameron looks at problems with a different eye than the scientists and engineers. Colleagues like Jim Cameron are extremely creative because they thought about exotic, hostile environments uh, bring a new perspective to the idea of, of sending machines and people to places like Mars. Cameron consulted with NASA specialists on every phase of the design, and all agree that job one for Mars is getting the huge mission, literally, off the ground. The launch vehicle is the key to being able to go do a Mars mission because we 